Hello everyone, I'm Boyun. I'm glad to uh, present our taco paper on multilingual coreference solution in multi-party dialogue. So the question of a coreference solution has been widely studied, however it's still challenging in multi-party dialogue. Let's see an example here. So in the third utterance, Penny says, sounds like you have company. It's still challenging for existing models to decide uh, which mention you refer to whether it's Sheldon, Howard, or any participants in the dialogue. And if you want to study this question, you will find there is a lack of datasets since most existing datasets only focus on one or two participants. And if you want to do this in multilingual setting, it's even harder since the super expensive annotation. However, here comes our work. We propose an efficient annotation schema to allow better and faster annotation, uh, and uh, we build a coreference or multilingual dataset based on that. We also propose a recipe for creating silver multilingual craft data, and uh, our experiment shows this recipe can be a good solution uh, to build a craft model in, in many language without extra annotation. So we start with building the source data, which is a parallel dialogue dataset. We align transcripts in English with subtitle by text, which is a English and other language peer. Uh, we take the transcripts of the Big Bang Theory and Friends, since they are rich in speaker and reference, and they has, uh, has uh, widely been used in multi-party dialogue research. Based on that, we, uh, we perform by text alignment. We gather episodes from the open subtitle uh, corpus, which is like giant corpus with 2.6 billion sentences and uh, a lot of language. In this work, we only focus on Chinese and the Farsi, but it can be extended to much more language. And uh, we um, adopt two-stage alignment to align English scenes to Chinese and the Farsi. This is the annotation interface. Uh, we firstly uh, use several parsers to propose candidate mentions, like in the middle. So the annotator no longer need to do an open-ended uh, annotation problem. They can just do the selection by deciding which antecedent the current uh, the current mention refers to. Uh, for the annotation, we pick uh, we select nine annotator who agree well with the golden cluster with uh, a MUSI score higher than eighty. Uh, assume, assume we have already got the English data, we still want to uh, build the silver multilingual data. So we uh, perform automatic annotation projection based on world level alignment. Mm -hmm. Let's see the, uh, the content in the uh, red box. All the annotation has been highlighted in different colors, so we can project to Chinese using the alignment and also Farsi. Of course, the projection can be noisy, uh, so we perform human correction on the dev and test set to ensure a fair evaluation. Uh, this is the statistic of our dataset. We get over 1,200 scenes with a large number of utterance and mention. Since the Farsi dataset and have a very similar statistic with Chinese data, uh, you can refer the paper for detail and the download the data here. Uh, we want to, uh, in the experiment, we want to study how challenging is our task. So we perform an experiment using the HOI model, which is the SOTA model when we are doing this work. Uh, and we train data, uh, train models on different training sets like Antonov's friends and the MMC. So, uh, according to the bar chart in the right side, we can see this task is still very challenging with a large margin um, between models trained on other data. And there is one interesting phenomenon here. So if you train uh, the model on Antonov's first and then do continue training on our MMC data for just one or two epoch, you can get a very good performance, uh, very good models here. And we also want to check whether our recipe of multilingual projection will uh, be a good solution. Uh, we simulate the scenario where you only get English annotation, but you still want to get a craft model in other language. So 
The first choice is the baseline, which is class lingo transfer. Uh, you can train the model only on uh, on only MMC English and test on Chinese and Farsi. Uh, in our in our proposed recipe, you can generate the silver multilingual data first, and then train on only silver uh, Chinese data or Farsi data and do the testing. Uh, according to the result, our proposed recipe can have a lot of uh, great performance gain over the baseline model, and this recipe is effective and uh, cheap to, uh, to to implement. There is no more annotation, uh, and uh, this also allows better controllability because you can control, uh, manipulate the projected data through like no matter it's human correction or uh, heuristic. Uh, thanks for listening. Here is the paper and the code and data.